Hello, hello! What's up, guys? I don't know if you just heard that weird squeak. That was my ball that I'm sitting on. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the podcast. This is Haley, <laughs> nutritionist and brain training weight loss coach. And this is going to be a really quick, bite sized um, podcast. This has just, this topic has come up a couple of times on recent coaching calls with my clients, and it's actually come up, re come up for me in my life recently. So I thought it would be a really good episode to kind of touch on. And that is three ways to handle your spouse wanting you to eat with them, even though you're trying to lose weight. Whatever your weight loss journey is looking like, for my clients, we really focus on listening to our body's natural signals for when we need to fuel. And so there's a lot of times when we are planning to eat when we feel this certain way, when our body's letting us know like, okay, we are ready to fuel now. And our spouse is like, but let's eat now. And I need 10 meals a day and plus snacks. And it doesn't always fit in with what our journey is looking like. So whatever your your uh, weight loss journey is looking like, these are three tips to handle that other person in your life when they want to go out to eat and that's not really on your agenda. Um, so like I said, this pops up for my clients a lot and it pops up for me a lot. So <laughs> my husband absolutely hates when I, when he wants to go out to, eat, out to eat and I'm like, well, I'm not hungry, but I'll go with you and you know, you can order and I, I'll just whatever, sit there and hang out. Um, he hates that. And lately this has been showing up in my life for me. Like we just had a baby. So he is cooking me a lot of meals, which is fantastic and amazing. And I'm so, so grateful. And most of the time I'm like, yeah, let's eat it. But sometimes, I'm not really that hungry and I hate, I'm fine being not rude, but just saying like, no, I'm not hungry and I, I don't want to eat this when he goes out to a restaurant or when he wants to go out to a restaurant. But when he takes the time and cooks me a meal and I'm like, I'm not hungry, I feel a lot less comfortable doing that. Um, so this has just shown up a couple of times. So these are three different I keep doing, if you're watching this video, I keep making the four sign with my hand. I mean, three. These are three different ways to handle this. So um, first of all, now this works great for my clients, works great for me. You listening to this, it's gonna depend on how you are going about your weight loss, but you can adjust how much you're eating the rest of the day. So this is what I've been practicing a lot with my husband cooking me meals. So if he cooks me a meal and I'm not really hungry, but I want to eat with him or, or, you know, have, enjoy, enjoy that experience with him because he took the time to make me something. Um, I will just adjust what I'm taking in the rest of the day. So he's been making breakfast a lot lately and I rarely eat breakfast. Um, and I'm really not hungry in the mornings, but I'm like sitting down, I'm eating with him. And then I pretty much just wait for the rest of the day until I start to feel a certain level of like hunger in my body telling me like, okay, we're ready to fuel again. I just let the, whatever I had planned for the day that can go, <laughs> I'm just going to now kind of tap into my body, listen to my body and let it, let me know when we're ready to eat again. You ate when you weren't hungry. We're gonna let you know later on when we're ready to fuel. So sometimes that looks like I might not eat again until dinner or dinner might be really light or maybe I have like a big snack in the afternoon. So I always, you can always adjust your eating schedule depending on the meal that you had. This is not something I practice a lot. I don't often practice like eating when I'm not hungry. So that's, you know, if that's happening over and over again for you, you might need to employ one of the other strategies. So number two, I try to always, and I recommend this to my clients, to prep the other person ahead of time. Like, hey, I'm not really that hungry. So, you know, if you're wanting to go out to eat, I might not eat anything. I might only get something small. If you're cooking for me, I'm just letting you know now, I'm not super hungry. So maybe don't make me a lot of food or maybe box mine up 
and save it for later. Or you don't have to cook me anything right now. So always like forewarning them. This is where I am now. And I'm just letting you know, I might not eat. I might choose to wrap it up and save it for later. Just a heads up. That communication, that pre-communication before you get to the food, before you're in a restaurant sitting down with menus and just saying like, yeah, I'm not gonna get anything. The pre ahead of time communication helps a lot. It makes the blow of, of maybe not eating or maybe eating less a lot lighter. Um, at restaurants, a lot of times I'll, I'll suggest like, let's go ahead and split something. And then I'm kind of off the hook as far as how much I have to eat of that. We're splitting it. You can have however much you want. And then I'm not sitting there without food, like without a meal and I can just box mine up. I also, sometimes I'll just order something and I'll just kind of push it around the plate and get it in a box. So those are options as well. Um, number three, you can always say no. This was really hard for me for a long time, but I use it all of the time now. You have to, in order to do this, you have to be willing to let the other person have whatever emotion they're gonna have in response to you saying, I'm not hungry and I'm not gonna eat. That can look like anger, frustration, annoyance, those are really common ones for me to watch him experience. And it's not comfortable. It, it's gotten more comfortable, but it's, there's always a level of like me feeling guilty or bad in some way. And then there's also, and this always gets stronger over, you know, with time and with practice, this level of like me honoring myself and saying, I'm going to do what's best for me. And I'm, I feel bad that, that he has, to, that he has to, that he is experiencing annoyance or frustration and telling me X, Y, Z about my choice. I feel bad that he's experiencing that, but I want to honor me. I want to honor my body and how I feel. I never feel good eating a meal that I'm not hungry for. That makes me feel really terrible for a very long time. <laughs> a lot worse than the temporary like limited time feeling of guilt because he's annoyed that i'm not sharing this meal with him that goes way quicker than how bogged down tired greasy bloated i'm gonna feel for the rest of the day because i ate a meal that i wasn't hungry for just because i didn't want to experience a little bit of guilt because he's upset that I'm not eating with him. So you have to get yourself to that place where you are prepared to do that, where you're prepared to say no and, and let the other person have that emotion. And no amount of whatever they're gonna tell you, badgering you, trying to co co coerce you, whoa, that was hard to get up, coerce you into eating with them, can make you eat with them. I am not hungry and I'm gonna do what's best for me in this situation, okay? So that's the most challenging one, but that's the one that gets some practice in with it. It is super helpful and it gets easier with time. You get better at it, but honoring yourself is always the best decision, okay? All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.